This is why I don't ever leave my house. You can't really see, but the window's parted like that because there's a little doggy in there just watching me. Like, how am I supposed to leave? Cinematic. Holy shit, that is cinematic. Okay, perf, perf, slay. Uh, hey guys. Today I'm just gonna be taking you along on a little self-care day, a little day day, whatever you want to call it. But um, it recently has been brought to my attention that I have to be doing something at all times. I've known this about myself for a while. Let's not, let's not joke. I'm just gonna go ahead and start driving. I filled my death. No, I won't. Oh. There is a car coming. I'm in my new car. Forgot that you guys have not yet seen my new car. It's actually insane how many videos I've filmed over the past however long I've not been making videos, but things are just starting to look up. Feel myself becoming the best version of myself and the version of myself. I have always, 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 always pictured myself to be a YouTuber. So, hey bitch, it's about time we got on that, okay? So here we are. Oh, hey girl. Do you not see me? Are you fucking stupid? To the point of this video, basically have the day off and just planned a little day for myself to have some fun and slay activities. Also, just like challenging myself because I genuinely enjoy doing things alone, but I never do because I always just feel kind of super anxious about it. Lately, I have been kind of just accepting that like I can just do whatever I want to and it doesn't matter because nothing's real. Do you guys want to know like my um off the edibles thoughts last night? Some people are like you have to live like there's no tomorrow because tomorrow's not guaranteed. Just do what you want to today which I totally get and that is such a valid way of thinking but you can also think I have so much life to live like it's okay if I didn't get everything done today that I was hoping to because I still have my whole life ahead of me if that makes sense okay did I even say what I'm doing right now <laughs> I am on my way to a coffee shop I'm driving by the old apartment have I filmed since I've been in the new apartment I've had to have. I have filmed so many videos like explaining where I've been just trying do like a vlog and then it kind of explaining and I was like you know what that's a lot of yapping like let's just make a fun silly little video to come back and I figured this would be fun this is an excuse for me to go out and have a fun little girly day by myself but also like a challenge for me because I genuinely love doing things by myself but I just never do it also just like filming in public is a big thing thing for me that I don't like to do but Again, I've always wanted to be a YouTuber, so I just have to do that, and who cares, because nothing's real! Guys, nothing's real. We're all just doing... Well, no, I was gonna say we're all on our first... Who the fuck is this person? She's slaying. That was kind of terrifying a little bit. What was I talking about before I was interrupted by fucking Bendy and the ink machine? Oh, my phone is getting hot, mama. I'm gonna sit in the coffee shop for a little bit and draw, and then we're going to the beach, bitch, which nobody's surprised about. If you know me, I will find a way to snake a beach day in, okay? I love me a beach day. I just got a text from in the work group chat saying something about Friday the 13th. So I'm excited because the day that I'm filming this is September the 12th. So do you know what that means? Tomorrow's Friday the 13th. Um, I work at a dispensary right now. I don't know if you guys know that. And I'm a fucking major pot though. You know, we have mixed feelings about, but we're loving this era. There's so many noises happening on the road today and I'm not loving it. Oh my God, I feel like I'm driving to the old apartment. Oh my God, do you guys, do you know what's actually crazy is that Gage is gonna be moving into my apartment with me in probably January. Oh, you guys, get to it. You're silly. You guys, do you know what's so iconic for me is that I'm pretty sure what I've realized is that the letter for the license plate <laughs> that my state is on is K. So my license plate is a K, has a K in it now. But I also just keep seeing license plates with Ks on them all the time. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm so famous. Okay, 
epic. He did want to say that this video is going to be titled either on a budget or with no cost. And I just want to quit, put a quick disclaimer that I'm obviously going to buy coffee. I also obviously am spending gas money. But like all of these things, well not all of these things, but like you can so easily just make a coffee at home or sit in your backyard or in your front yard or wherever, wherever you live and do this or go for a walk just in your neighborhood but like i think i'm gonna call this out of budget because like you don't need to spend money to have a good time and honestly like i'm not a person that counts gas money okay gas is a necessity and yes i do struggle to get it sometimes but that's not gonna stop me from driving to the beach okay so screw you yes i'm gonna go buy an overpriced coffee but like I don't have to do that to have a good day. Another reason that I wanted to do that today is because that's literally something that I have always told myself that I was gonna go do. I just said this, Mike, I could walk to my old apartment right now. And like I would, I would walk over here all the time, but I would never go in and sit down, but I would always want to. Anyway, I'm gonna go inside and get my coffee with chocolate milk. Oh my phone is burning up. cold brew i choked it down never done this before like this so i'm gonna be looking behind me a lot i don't know how i'm the camera how do you guys hold your camera when you vlog like this i'm trying not to be so nervous but i'm so nervous there's these fucking moths here and i'm obsessed with them at first i thought they were fucking hummingbirds because they were just like i could tell that they had like big bodies and i know that hummingbirds look like bugs <laughs> but on the ground you literally can't see them they look like leaves and then they open up and they're these giant moths and they're so pretty and they're black and yellow and i love that beach that i always go to um is at a state park and there's a ton of trails and i never do them um but i'm in my running slash walking slash hiking era so i was like you know what it's the nicest fuck and like come on girl are you kidding me of course I want to walk along the beach. Oh, it's so nice out too. This is not a super long loop. I think it's only like a mile or something. I'm not wearing proper exercise attire, but I am. I have this running app that I've been using. I'm not sure if I like it yet, but I am logging it just to kind of keep track of all my little activities. But um, I'm just going to walk back to the parking lot in this loop and then go lay out on the beach. Oh my god, here's one of those fucking mods where did it just go oh my god did you see it where did it go i don't know but I'm obsessed with this camera feature that i found on my phone i'm loving this feeling i'm having such a main character day main character moment walking in the sunshine on the beach can you tell him leo be honest this walk is also good because i can also scope out my place on the beach because i can see the beach from here so i know where there's nobody so i can sit by myself i can't make this up look who's on my car it is absolutely one of those months scared the fuck out of me hi guy um that's crazy am i gonna be thinking about that for the rest of time like that was like that moth is some kind of sign from the universe absolutely i am but unfortunately i have some bad news i do have to piss and that means public restroom not only does that mean public restroom i don't know for sure but i'm pretty sure that means porta potty that lady is walking the path i just walked but she it dies as that is me that is i just saw myself in the future gage and i keep saying that we went um to a different beach and I swear, like, every time we're there, we, every time we are there, Jesus, we see, like, an older couple. We're like, oh my god, that's literally us in the future. 
crazy. If you want to know what's crazy is I already done pissed in a porta potty today. Brother, somebody just went into one. <laughs> I feel like I need to wait. I don't need to wait. It's a fucking pisser. Oh my god, it's an old fucking man. He's about to blow up the shitter. Let me get this locked and loaded real quick while that man is taking his turn. There's four. I could go, like I'm not trying to have the interaction, you know? It is that time of month and I don't think I have an extra tampon with me. It's like day three or four. I'm just gonna go ahead and like embrace my hippie side. Can this fucking old ass guy hurry up? <laughs> it's already one, it's one, one, one. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> You guys have been looking for a sign to just do something that you really want to do but you're a little nervous about it for some reason this is your sign to do it i'm having the best day doing all my favorite things i've been having a lot of like girl you want to do this so bad and you have every right and ability to do it so just just go do it but way too much lotion on this leg <laughs> obviously a huge reason is like anxiety i am such a terrible horrible overthinker that like i can come up with any scenario to talk myself i can talk myself out of anything i really 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 have been trying to stop doing that because that's what i've been doing for the past 24 years damn near i have always wanted to be a youtuber i cannot remember having another genuine like career that I could see myself like loving. I've always wanted to be a YouTuber. I started making videos when I was like 11 and my mom told me no. So I literally just like recorded my shirt and was like, hi guys, I'm a kid so I can't show my face, but welcome to my channel. So now I'm an adult and I can do whatever I want. I am sitting on the beach talking to my phone, wearing a hat. <laughs> Only certain girls will get the wearing a hat like wearing a hat is crazy but i'm gonna listen to odd vice can't wait to be on a pod one day <laughs> manifesting that for myself just gonna lock in that skin cancer i'm just kidding it's not funny don't talk about cancer but what am i supposed to do okay google how do i get tan and also lay in the sun for hours and also do it safely let me know when you figure that out, please. And I did watch the clips back from my cinematic mode walking. And I am embarrassed about it. I don't know if you guys realize how fucking small and cute it is, but look how small and cute this pen is. Sponsor me. Imagine I get a weed sponsor. That would be epic. Oh my god. I could literally start crying right now. Ugh, I don't want to film them because I fear that's creepy. I could cry. I think I have to try to show them to you because it's like actually the cutest shit I've ever seen. But it's a grandma and a grandpa, I'm assuming, and a toddler walking on the beach. They're each holding their hands. That is the cutest shit I've ever- Oh my- I have to show you. Do you see them? Are you actually kidding me? Oh, that shit is so cute. I held that face the whole time I was switching the camera around, by the way. I am certainly not going to be posting about my youtube and stuff or even really talking about it in real life but i feel like for so long i was actively trying to like hide it from people in real life and again i certainly am not going to be promoting it i certainly am not going to ask people that i know in real life to watch my videos because like some of my coworkers follow me on like tiktok and stuff so like if I post a TikTok and y'all are coming across my channel or whatever, that's fine. You can watch my videos. You can be a slay stan, but I hate talking about it in real life. I'm trying to be more, like, okay with it. I'm trying to be more, like, who cares what anybody thinks, but, like, I don't like talking about my YouTube channel. I don't like when people are like, oh, you make YouTube videos or kind of videos, make, like, makeup, and I'm like, yeah. I guess. I don't know. I just fucking make videos and post them. So anyway, I'm trying to get at is I'm trying not to care. And I think it's cool that I make YouTube videos and I'm going to be freaking famous. But like, don't talk to me about it. Or you can talk to me about it. Like if you're like a coworker and you come across this and you're you at work, you're like, oh my God, girl, I love your videos. Slay. But then if you go and you're like, oh my God, 
Did you know that Kaylee makes YouTube videos? They're really funny. Like, I don't even care if you're trying to be helpful and you're trying to, like, spread the word. Don't. Keep it to yourself, okay? If you find my video and you know me in real life, we can talk about it. We can be chill. We can be fine. But if you're going to go blab into everybody saying, oh, my God. Even, again, I don't care if you're making fun of me or not. I don't care if you genuinely think it's the coolest shit ever that I make YouTube videos. Keep it to yourself. I'm gonna go home and take a shower. It's already three, okay? I will be listening to Sabrina Carpenter's album on the way home because I'm obsessed with it. I am certainly not gonna be posting about my YouTube and stuff or even really talking about it in real life, but I feel like for so long I was actively trying to like hide it from people in real life. And again, I certainly am not gonna be promoting it I certainly am not going to ask people that I know in real life to watch my videos. Uh, I love them. Okay, anyway, I'm going to go home. Be so for real. Do we like this, like, cinematic filter shit? Or are we, like, chill out, Michael Bay? Gage is picking me up in, like, half an hour, and I am not ready at all. Been home for a little bit. I showered. I ate. I have a confession. All those TikToks were going around about, like, girls with messy makeup. I watched those videos, and I was like, ew. Y'all are nasty. Bitch, my makeup looks like that. It's not as bad. Like, some of those were like, oof, girl. Come on now. Mine's pretty bad. And I didn't realize that until recently. I have not really like talked much about like the purpose of this video. Gage told me recently, he was like, you are just always doing something. <laughs> like you like keep your, or he said that I'm good at keeping myself busy, I think. I don't know. He worded it in some way that I was like, you're so right, but like, I don't realize that I'm doing it, but I quite literally, and this is pretty common I think nowadays, especially with like TikTok and social media and whatever, I can't just sit down and like watch a TV show or watch a movie. Like I have to like put something on and be drawing or be playing a game or uh, I have to read. I can, sometimes I can read, but a lot of times I put like lo-fi music on in the background or something like I just, I have a hard time, so I, but I also can't just, like, sit and do, like, I don't know, some people can just, like, play video games for hours or sit and watch a TV show for hours, and I cannot do that. I'm not doing it, like, because I have, like, all this stuff that I need to get done by that, like, sometimes I'm doing it because of that, but most of the time. Don't get me wrong, though, I definitely have my days where, like, I lay in bed on TikTok until 1 p.m. and then I just move to the couch. I still have those days and I love those days and I think those days are important. In my teenage years, I had so much free time because I wasn't in sport. After my sophomore year, I wasn't even banned. So like I didn't even have that. I had crappy friends kind of who didn't really ever hang out with me. So I feel like I'm making up for lost time a little bit now where like when I was at home, living at home, or when I was just a teenager, I literally would just spend like the night on my phone or watching YouTube videos. Now, like when I have a day off, I like to like try to go out and do things. If I have the day off and I don't have anything planned, I'll be like, okay, well, I want to paint today then, or I want to, sorry, I popped this like zit thing going on here and so it's all swollen now and don't look at it. It's always something that I've known I've done but I've never really thought about it positively. <laughs> I have always just wished that I could just sit and do that one thing and like be like, yes, this is what I want to do today and that is what I'm going to do. Instead, I'm like, oh, well, I could do this, but you know, I didn't wake up when I originally wanted to, so now I can't do it because then everything else is gonna get thrown off. And like, that's just not true, girl. And I know that it's very, very, very hard to get yourself to stop thinking like that, but I've been working on it and I'm continuing to work on it and get better at it. And it's helped a freaking lot. I went to Pride recently. Um, I went by myself and met up with some coworkers that were there and it was, so much fucking fun you guys and that is something that like because i didn't have anybody to go with like obviously i was meeting people up there but like i originally was planning on going there with somebody and then 
when they canceled I was just not gonna go but then I was like you know what fuck it like I really was looking forward to this I'm still gonna have people there to hang out with I just have to get over that like anxiety of like walking around by myself and I did and let me tell you I'm so fucking glad I did and I think that really like honestly truly was a big step for me without like digging too much into like trauma. I think that a lot of the reason that I didn't do a lot in high school or like in general when I was younger is because I didn't have a lot of friends that would go do things with me. I obviously was young. I didn't drive until after I graduated. I also lived at home so it's not as easy to just go out and do things. When I was younger I just always assumed that it would come so naturally to me to just go out and like sit by myself at a coffee shop or drive to the beach by myself and sit at the beach by myself. A couple years ago was like very terrifying for me it's now becoming a regular thing i was thinking about that too is like i don't always i go to the beach a lot and i don't always like make a big deal about it i'm not always posting about it i did post about it today and obviously i'm filming a video but i don't want it to be like a like i just want it to be like oh that's kaylee of course she's going to the beach on her day off <laughs> those are just some things that i do by myself um, I'm going to continue to make vlogs and other videos like this. Like I said earlier, I've always like had such a clear vision of myself doing it. Anyway, yeah, Gage and I are going to a farmer's market. Actually, we just randomly were going to drive to this place and go for a walk. And then it just so happened that the farmer's market was going on when we went. So then we found out that it was happening and we were like, oh, we should come back when we actually know that it's going on. I was fully going to go by myself and then I was like, oh, well, I'll just ask Gage if he wants to go with me. We are showing all kinds of things to do. You can go do things by yourself. You can go do things with a friend or with your significant other. If I'm being completely honest, I think the title is just good. And I really don't know how to explain to you how I keep myself busy. Other than you can just watch this video and see. The glitter that I use. It's really dirty. Don't look. <gasps> Guys, don't fucking look at that. That's so embarrassing. No. What the? <gasps> You're kidding me. That was a hate crime. Do you seriously think that I could just leave this sweet, perfect angel baby alone? Do you know how much- What the fuck did you just get scared? Oh my god, are you stupid? Like, how stupid cute are you? <gasps> Hi, pretty. Love. Hi. Hi, I love her. <laughs> That's all you're gonna do. What do I do? Hi vlog. Okay. Got home like 10, 15 minutes ago. Mazel tov. What's like Elmo do? Like Elmo's like, you know Elmo when he's like, okay guys, I'm going to bed. And I'm really pissed off because I meant to put new sheets on my bed and make my bed nice and I didn't do that. And so now I'm probably gonna have a freak out while I try to go to bed. This dog is the cutest dog I've ever seen. Um, there were so many dogs at the farmer's market. So funny story, got there only like an hour before it closed, which was fine. I didn't really like account for, we smoked before and then also we both ate, which I did not think that either of us were gonna eat. So, so really nothing was like, still up by the time we were done eating and walking around but we just did like a little loop it was nice it was a fun time and i just love doing shit like that i saw we oh my god you guys do you remember how earlier in this video i purposely didn't tell gage because it'll be a little secret if he watches this video we literally were walking back to the car and there was a fucking old couple in front of us that was like literally us like like it was mirrored they were holding the hands it was guy girl and Gage was like he's wearing a chain he's literally me it was like an older guy wearing a chain and the lady had her bag like the same arm that I did it was like literally us and it was so cute and it's stupid it's not really the older version of us it's just another couple but it's just fun I don't know maybe the truth is that Gage and I just have old couple hobbies so we just see older couples everywhere we go i think i'm gonna play cooking craze you guys do you guys want me to start streaming can i seriously stream 
Papa's donor area like actually competitively. I'm being dead ass because I will, bitch. Let me pull up my stats for you real quick, okay? All right. Something about me, all games, silent. Unless it's like, like a story game, like, like I'm, okay, pause. If you think I'm playing Kingdom Hearts on silent, you're a psychopath. I need to play Kingdom Hearts. You guys, do I do a video playing Kingdom Hearts from start to finish off the netable? That is what I'm gonna do on Monday. Rank 75, and you'll see that says better than Papa. So if you're not following along, Papa's the goddamn owner and guess who's better. What do y'all know? What do y'all know? 39 out of 40, so just one left. And look at all these, all these with the stars, babes. Yeah. Oh, I only need one more star to unlock the last one, bitch. <laughs> I think I'm feeling click and grace tonight, which I just can't quit her. I don't know. This one, like, gets stressful after a while. So, like, Papa's, like, I'm just so good at. It's just easy, you know? It requires a little thinking power, so I have to be in the right mood for it. And I think I'm in the right mood for it, okay? I haven't played in a really long time. Uh, infinite life for 24 hours, bitch. I'm calling off work tomorrow. That's epic as fuck, actually. Oh my god, okay. I have to go. But thank you guys for hanging out with me. Oh my god, I'm so excited to be back. <sighs> Expect new videos from me every Wednesday. Remember, if you know me in real life, Oh my god, tomorrow's Friday the 13th. Yesterday was 9-11. Okay. Woo! What? Am I, what's going on? Ew! I, um, post new videos every Wednesday, but you should turn on those notifications so that you can be ready when they're up and maybe i just like i don't know just turn them on okay i think you're just, that's just what you're supposed to do hit that bell smash that like button smash that subscribe button logan for life phase up what was the o2o one? Oh, was it just that wait o2 oh oh I think it was just like the O2L. O2L. I miss O2L. <gasps> Wait! Didn't they do that? That's, oh, that's a um, 303. <laughs> See you guys next Wednesday!